Today we take a look at campsite 113 at Fort DeSoto Park in Pinellas County. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Uh, today I'm excited to show you some uh, campsites at Fort DeSoto Park in Pinellas County, Florida. But before I do that, please hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Uh, and hit that little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos. And also hit that like button for me. So as I said, we are releasing uh, campsite videos from Fort DeSoto. And the whole idea behind these videos is that uh, it's really hard to reserve a campsite uh, from the from the websites, whether it's Reserve America or a different system. Oftentimes they only give you one or a couple of photos. And it makes it hard to decide whether that's a campsite you want. So we're going across America and shooting empty campsites all over the place. And we shot a bunch of campsites at, at Fort DeSoto. We shot 183. Uh, so we're going to be producing these videos and putting them out. I'll put a list of all the videos that we release uh, in the description. So as we release new videos, I'll update that with new video links so you can check those out. So Fort DeSoto is an awesome park. Uh, if you haven't um, yet, check out uh, my video on an overview of Fort DeSoto Park, as well as my overview of the campground. And I'll put those uh, links uh, in the description as well. And uh, so like I said, we're shooting all these empty campsites to help you um, make a better decision when you're trying to reserve a campsite on whatever website you're using. So check out the video, and uh, I really hope you have a great time when you go camping at Fort DeSoto. Thanks for watching. The campground of Fort DeSoto Park is on St. Christopher Key, just south of the boat ramp on the main entrance road. The whole campsite is on an island with access to the water. Site 113 is located in Area 2, and Area 2 is suitable for all camping units, both tents, RVs, and campers, and is pet friendly. The closest restroom is restroom number four, and it's right next to a playground as well. Starting at the road, site 113 is a back end site, and so you can see uh, it's pretty deep. There are trash cans uh, on the entrance road uh, every few campsites, so it's very easy to get rid of trash. There's also uh, a hot ash receptacle for uh, fire pit ashes or uh, uh, grill ashes. The site is uh, pretty deep, as I said. It has a picnic table and a uh, grill for grilling charcoal. It has water and electric hookup. It's pretty secluded on one side, but the other side is pretty open. These sites do not have a fire pit, so you can either bring your own fire pit or you can rent one from the camp store for $3 a night. Moving out of the back of the site, there's a path that runs along the water behind these campsites. Those are mangroves there, but as you pan down, you can see that there is water access down the trail a little ways. A lot of people fish off that seawall. There's the restroom in the distance, and even farther is the playground. And from the back of the site, you can see the depth uh, of the site. It's a pretty nice site. So I hope you found that video useful. Um, if you did, please again hit that subscribe button and that like button. And please connect with us on our other social media. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll put a link to all of those in the description. Uh, please connect with us and we'd also love to hear from you. If you've camped at Fort DeSoto, if you have a favorite campsite, um, drop that in the comments for fellow outsiders. Um, and if you have any, um, any ideas on things that people should do there, uh, different experiences you've had, um, drop those in the comments as well. So guys, uh, two things I want to mention um, at the end of this video are 
uh, two things that you really need to consider when camping at Fort DeSoto. Uh, and number one is the bugs. Depending on time of year, the mosquitoes can be pretty bad, but the noceums can be downright awful. And if you've never experienced noceums or these little biting insects, um, and they just can make your life miserable, it's incredible, makes your skin incredibly itchy. Uh, and so uh, you definitely want good bug repellent. If you can stand it, um, long pants and long sleeves will really help. Uh, but also, you know, having, um, you know, deep woods off or, um, you know, DEET, you know, sportsman's spray, you know, whatever it is. And then I also run thermocells. And if you don't know what thermocells are, I'm going to do a video on thermocells and I'll drop that in the description once it's launched. But thermocells are these little appliances that burn but butane. Uh, I have a little but butane bottle and it burns and it heats up a little plate and there's a little wafer in there that emits a uh, like a fume and it's not it's not really noticeable you, you can smell it a little bit but you can't smell it uh, that much uh, and it helps keep the bugs away and so I highly recommend if you're going to Fort DeSoto be prepared for the noceums and be prepared for the mosquitoes. The second thing I want to bring up is that whenever you're camping on the water weather can be uh, quite an issue. When storm fronts move through the area and come on shore from the Gulf, the winds can be quite intense. The most intense winds are gonna be on the campsites that are right on the water that have a water view. And so you may wanna consider that uh, when you're camping. We've camped at Fort DeSoto a number of times and every time we camp on the water, we get crappy weather. And so um, the wind has been really intense uh, and that's been a struggle for us. So uh, if you're gonna go to Fort DeSoto and you're especially if you're camping in a tent You need to make sure that you have the appropriate uh, guy lines to guy out your tent to make sure that it can withstand uh, Even 20 30 mile an hour winds because it it can be uh, it can be pretty pretty intense and sustained so uh, be prepared for the bugs be prepared for the wind other than that, Fort DeSoto is an amazing place. I highly recommend it. Uh, enjoy your trip and uh, let us know how it goes in the comments or on our other social media. Thanks for watching Camp Outside, guys. We will see you next time.